it's not like I was constantly like chomping at the bit to be like, okay, I got to go. I'm going to move on to the next thing. It's like, they gave me so many great opportunities and we're so busy traveling the world. Uh, I'm getting all these experiences. My, you know, I met my boyfriend at the time and like, we were always there together. So it, it really wasn't on my mind to, to get out of there, but that was something that I would think about that was like, ugh. I, I can't just, I can't just so simply go get another job and figure that out. It just seemed like such a daunting pain in the ass task to be like, shit, what if I have to go back to Canada? I love you, Canada, but I've worked really hard to try to get down here. <laughs> At what point did you start thinking about life after WWE? Um, a few years ago. So I, I would say it's probably... My timeline is always messed up, but I think it was probably like two, three years ago. I had asked for my release from WWE because um, I was just sort of spinning my wheels, which is kind of where I ended up again when I left. But I had been spinning my wheels. It felt like there really wasn't much else for me to do there. I've been, you know, doing, uh, I've been doing all the backstage interviews, hosting a bunch of different network shows, been doing commentary and coming off of commentary. Um, just all these things that I was like, well, I'm not a wrestler here. So I'm never going to get to really do what I want to do. That's not, I work for a wrestling company and I'm not a wrestler. So I, the things that I want to do career wise, I might not be able to actually achieve those here. So I'd asked for my release and they would not give me my release, um, which ended up being a good thing because, uh, yeah, it was like this whole drawn out process where I was like, I think I'm leaving. And it was like, oh my God, I remember the day that I was like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go into the truck and ask for my release and try to get out of here. And I was like, I grew my fucking big boy balls out. And I was like, here we go. I'm going to do it. And then like the next week they're like, yeah, about that. You're actually not leaving. And I was like, oh, I didn't know it could work like that. How much time did okay. you have left on your contract? Maybe like a year. Think about a year. Um, so they had like kind of dangled the carrot of like, well, we have all these big plans for you. We've got all these things that we want you to do. And one of those things was mix match challenge. Um, but, uh, but then, you know, ultimately it led to me being able to do commentary and getting to put that feather in my cap. So had I actually have left that first time, I don't think that my time there or my career there would have been what it is now. I mean, obviously it wouldn't have time has been spent and more important things have been done. But um, I'm glad that the time that I spent there that I was able to really like knock off some like big bucket list things. 